Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's video we're just going to be having a really chill video. I'm just going to do some unboxing of some new yarn that I got, some yarn um, and brands that I've tried before, and then one brand that I've never tried before that I've wanted to try because you guys all use this yarn, um, but I've never ventured into it so I'm super excited about that. And then I also got some new crochet hooks I wanted to share with you guys. So come along, grab a hook if you're crocheting something, and we'll do some unboxing. All right, so I got two different types of yarn, uh, two different brands, sorry. And then I also got some crochet hooks. Um, the yarn that I got, one of them is one that I use all the time and the other one is a brand new brand that I've never used but I know a lot of you have used and I was really interested in trying it out. They had so many fun colors so I just, I had to. <laughs> so we'll start with the one that I use all the time and that is Hobby. Now I'm not sure if that's how you actually say it, if it's Hobby or Hobie, but um, it is a Denmark company and it is definitely the one that we use the most and that I've been using for the longest time. Um, what I love about them is that they have the two separate brands. So they have the Baby Snuggle yarn, which is the one I started with. And then they also have the Honey Bunny yarn, which is a bit newer, but basically the exact same thing. Um, and they also have their kind of offshoots. So they have Baby Snuggle Print and they have Honey Bunny Candy um, and they have all the different, you know, uh, types of yarn. So that's kind of nice. It's like kind of a one-stop shop. I find with this brand, I usually get the package. I live in Canada and this, this company is in Denmark. So I would say it takes about two weeks for me to get my package, two to three weeks. Um, but I find that shipping is not that expensive. I think I even may have had free shipping with this package. I can't exactly remember, but it, the shipping is not very expensive compared to the other brand I'll talk about later, which is a bit more pricey. So, um, for this yarn, I was out of a lot of my staples that I always use, so I did get a lot of just my regular colors, but I'll go through them anyways with you. So we'll jump in to the first one. Now I kind of wish they sent all of the yarn that I ordered in one package, but that's not the case. I got three, so we'll go through all three. So to start, I got some green. Now this is like one of my favorite greens. It is like a beautiful sage green. Can't remember what this one is called, but I got three balls of it. I use this one all the time. Most recently I used this in our mallard duck pattern. Um, it is like the perfect green for the head of the mallard duck. So I love this green and I'm super happy that I have some more of that. And then I also got my staple brown. Now I'm pretty sure this one is called Teddy Bear and it's the Baby Snuggle brand. Now the Honey Bunny brand does have a brown as well but it is just a little bit different. I would say the color is a little bit more rich. Um, this is a little bit more muted brown but I love them both. They both carry their own purpose but I was really running low on this specific shade so I got three more of the brown from Baby Snuggle. And then I grab some more yellow. Now I think that this is their Baby Snuggle Bright in Sunshine, but don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, I use this all the time. I'm completely out of it. I use this for my Jerry the Giraffe pattern um, and my Chick and um, so many different ones. So I use this all the time. I also have the like baby yellow in Baby Snuggle as well, but I had enough of that. So I just grabbed the Brights version of it. So I grabbed some yellow. And then I was also out of my pink that I love. So this is... Um, my two pinks that I use, I think they're called Dusty, Dusty Rose and B Blush Pink, I think. Something like that. But they're both, um, Baby Snuggle, and I use these all the time. So I use these ones for, um, the Dragonfly pattern. I also use them for the Butterfly pattern that for the Valentine's Day special. These are my go-tos. I love these colors. They're perfect. They're so beautiful. So I grabbed two more balls of each because I'm out of both of them. 
And then in the last one from Hobby or Hobie, I got just my staple gray. So uh, this one I think is called um, Rabbit. And it is the Baby Snuggle brand, not the Honey Bunny one. Um, and it's my staple gray. I love this gray. It's really, really beautiful for a light gray. This is what I go to. So I got some more of those. And then last and most boring probably is I just got some whites. I am out of white. So I got some Honey Bunny white. They didn't have any of the Baby Snuggle white. So I just got this stuff. I will say with the Honey Bunny yarn, um... I personally find sometimes the balls are hit or miss with how they fall apart. Like this is chenille yarn, so it does fluff off and fall apart, especially when you're sewing it together. Um, if you're making amigurumi like I do, but I find some balls are so bad and difficult to work with more than others. And I don't know why that is, but I do find that sometimes with this brand. That's the only downfall I would say to this one, but otherwise they are by far my favorite yarns. So got some white and I'm really happy about that. All right, so the next brand that I got is the Premier Yarns brand. Now I've been meaning and wanting to order from this brand for quite some time, but um, I find that the shipping is crazy expensive to Canada. It's about 35 or $40 worth of shipping, which is crazy because a ball of yarn is like, what, $7? So that's quite a, a significant amount of shipping. Um, but I really wanted to try it because I find that a lot of you guys use this yarn. Um, and I'm not sure why the shipping is so expensive, but um, I had to try it out. They have so many beautiful colors. Um, it's a similar yarn to what I normally use, that chenille yarn, same as the Baby Snuggle and the Honey Bunny. It's just a different brand. So I got some scissors here and I'll just open this up without cutting the yarn. For some reason, I feel like I was in a pink day this day when I ordered this. So there's kind of a lot of pinks going on in here, but I use pink a lot. So I really wanted to try it a bunch. Now, I really don't know the color names to these. I kind of wonder if there is a order in here or if it says on the balls of yarn. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, there are. So I'll tell you what they are. So um, I got first, I will show you, I got the Parfait Chunky Yarn from Premier Yarns. Now I got two in this color rose, I think it's called. And again, just a really beautiful pink. I'll show you. This is kind of what the, um, the Baby Snuggle Yarn in... Um, blush pink looks like so it's just a little bit different the thing is I use this yarn so many times and I don't know exactly what I'm going to use with these but it is nice just to have variation in colors so I can mix and match but still match to different pinks so I got two balls of that then I got this beautiful color let me see here what this one's called this one's called very berry and it is so pretty it's like a red pink purple kind of color it is so stunning I cannot wait to use this again no idea what I'm going to use it for but on first glance here it feels the exact same as my uh, regular baby snuggle yarn um, so I love that because it is my staple is what I love to use it's the perfect size um, so I got two balls of the very berry from the parfait chunky yarn then I got this really pretty color. This is called Coral, and it is just a, a really bright fluorescent pink color, like pinky peach maybe a little bit. Um, super pretty. Again, all of these, I'm going to say this a million times. I cannot wait to use this. I can't wait to find a purpose for it, but I got some of that. I think I got two balls, but the other one is probably deep down in here somewhere. Then I got a just a classic one called Mushroom. I've been eyeing this color. Um, I love beiges. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I just do. I use them a lot. So I just think that they're a nice contrast versus white, which can be such a stark contrast to different colors. So I find this is a nice medium contrast. And this is a beautiful color. So this one's called Mushroom. And I got two balls of that one. Next, I got this really pretty purple, and this one is called Dusty Mauve, and it is really pretty. I 
I do have a couple um, shades of purple similar to this one, but not like this. So I actually think this one might be my favorite out of all of them that I have for the purple shade. Um, it's really pretty. So um, I'm excited to add that to my collection. Next, I got another pink. I guess you can probably see a pattern here. I don't know why I was in such a pink mood this day, but the pinks were just the most beautiful, I thought. So um, this pink is called Ballet Pink. So um, I'll show you. This is that rose color. So it's a little bit brighter of a pink, um, more of like a girly, true, you know, pink. Um, so I got two balls of that. Oh, here's that other one in coral that I already showed you. Now, I also got three in the white because I needed like six balls of white. So I got three in the Honey Bunny and then I decided to get three from here just to see the difference. Looks the exact same as the other stuff. So I don't think it really matters which way where I buy it from. It's all the same. And then I got another pink. I know that kind of is boring, but... This one's called Peach. Uh, definitely is more peach. Here is that coral color. Um, it's definitely a little bit more muted, like a peachy pink color still, but really pretty. I got two balls of that. And then last but not least, like the only non-pink shade I got was this really pretty mint color. It is called Mint, and I got two balls of it. And I'm obsessed with it. I don't know yet what I'm going to use it for again, but I love it. I can't wait to use this. I think this will be really good quality yarn. I've heard only amazing things about it. I can let you guys know an update once I start using it, how it works up and if it falls apart a lot or if it doesn't really fall apart at all. I can definitely let you guys know that if you're interested in that. But um, I'm excited to try this out and if it becomes a staple for me, I guess I'll be paying $35 in shipping every time I want it. So that's okay though, that just comes with the territory, right? So, so that is all of the yarn that I purchased um, for my restock of all my supplies. I probably only buy yarn twice a year, so when I do buy it, I buy everything I need and I buy a ton of it so that I don't run out and I kind of just have every color that I need so when I get an idea in my head, I can just go into my yarn and pick out the colors I want and be able to create it right away instead of waiting three weeks or four weeks for it to arrive. So that is the yarn that I got and let's check out the hooks that I got. All right, so when it comes to crochet hooks, I pretty much only used my Crochet Society crochet hooks for the longest time. They're beautiful, I love them, there's nothing wrong with them at all, but I kind of started seeing this brand of crochet hook all over Instagram and I had to, I just couldn't control myself. So a couple months back, I ordered a couple hooks from them and I fell in love, I feel like I could never go back. Um, and that is the Furls crochet hook. So I bought myself a couple more and I wanted to show you. But first I'll just show you the ones I do have already. So I have this one in a 5.5 millimeter. And I cannot for the life of me remember um, what it's called. But it is so, so pretty. So I have this one and I love it. The only thing I will say is I did drop this hook. And um, I did get a little chip right in the, like I would say call it maybe the mouth of the hook, like where the actual hook is, like right here. And it started catching on my yarn, so I had to file it down. So you have to be so, so careful with these ones because I think they're just made of resin. So they they are breakable. So I did have that. That was my really problem, not necessarily the company, but a learning curve for myself because I don't usually take the greatest care of my hooks um, and I drop them all the time and my son throws them around the room a lot. So with these specific ones, you know, before with the Crochet Society, they're the metal, so they don't break, but these ones definitely can crack and chip and break. So if you are going to get some of these, just be really careful and mindful of that. And then I also got a size G uh, 4.5 millimeter crochet hook in this like dark wood 
um, color and I've been using this on a blanket recently and I love it. I definitely stick to my 5.5 millimeter for my amigurumi. It is my go-to size of hook. For this yarn I just find it's perfect for myself um, but I wanted a smaller one for blankets and other, other things when I have time for those things. So I ordered a couple more and I'm going to open them with you here. Now, my sister, who is the other half of Double Dutch Crochet, she does not crochet as much as I do, but she definitely does. And she's recently gotten into making clothes. So um, she's working on a sweater and she's obsessed with it. And I think that <laughs> she will never stop making sweaters. But um, so we decided to get her a hook as well. So one of these is for her. So... open it up like that. This has all the paper in it. And then this is it. I'm just going to throw that on the floor. So it's just basically all wrapped up here. Lots of paper. And here they are. So this is what it looks like. These are the boxes. They're really, really pretty. Bluey color with the gold. I don't know the difference. Oh, they're all they all say streamline on them. I wasn't sure if they were all different. So I have the list of what I got here, so I'll just reference it once I open them. So they just open like this oh yeah okay so this one is mine and this one is the Sagittarius I think oh no this is the Capricorn the Capricorn one and look how beautiful that is it is like this beautiful green color and if you couldn't tell already I'm obsessed with green but it has this really pretty gold flex in it and this one is a size H and it's a uh, five millimeter crochet hook. So I am going to get a ton of use out of this. I'm so excited. It is just stunning. I just think the craftsmanship with this stuff is so beautiful. And I'm very, very happy and fortunate that I get to try these out. So I got this one for myself. And then in the next one... This one is the one my sister got. Now this is, I'm pretty sure this one is the Sagittarius. And it is this really pretty like purple color and it has like the rainbow glitters in it. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry if it's not focusing. And my sister got a size J and that's a six millimeter crochet hook. So she got the purple and she's going to love this. It'll be perfect for all of her creations that she's working on right now. And then I got one more. Now this one is so beautiful. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Like look at how stunning that is. So this one is called, this is the limited edition uh, Nautilus Streamline Resin Hook and it has like this like gold leafing in it like it is so pretty with like a, a navy blue top with the gold and, and then the white on the bottom it is so pretty I got this in a 5.5 because I was most excited about this one and because 5.5 crochet hooks are my like favorite ones that I use I wanted this one to be that size so I could use it all the time so I got this one, I got the green one in a five, and then we got this purple one in a six. So those are the hooks that I got. I'm so excited to start using them. I can't wait. Now, like I said, I personally love the, the um, brand. Um, if I have any issues or difficulties with them, I will for sure let you guys know. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but otherwise, I hope you guys had a really fun day. I hope you just chilled and crocheted and, and watched this unboxing. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye!